review of the MGMT EP, Time to Pretend. It was released in 2005 and produced by MGMT, and I apologize in advance for um, butchering this guy's name, but David Perlick Molinari. Sorry, I know I probably said that wrong. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this album, uh, I don't remember exactly when I got this EP. It probably would have been sometime after I got the first album. Uh, I wanted to talk about this though because it's got enough songs on it that I enjoy that I thought it I should mention it. Uh, I wasn't really sure where to put it though, so that's why I'm kind of like doing it um, now in between the, the first and second album. Because I kind of just, like, I didn't want to start with this, so I'm like, I'm going to do the first album and then I'll, I'll do the EP. So yeah, this, um, I think that there, one of the songs on here had a music video. Um, I'm not sure if it was like the official video. I think it was, because I'm pretty, it's been years since I've seen it, but I think it was like Andrew and Ben in the video. Um, but anyway, my brother was playing that video a lot, I think my cousin showed it to him, and I liked the song, so I was like, well, I'm going to go get whatever, um, get the CD that it's on. So I went and got this, um, and it's, I've listened to this quite a bit, uh, not usually like all the songs, it's kind of an album where I would just, or an EPA is where I just like play a few of the random songs uh, off of it whenever I felt like. It's only a six song EP and two of the songs are on their first album. It has uh, Time to Pretend opens it and it closes with Kids. Um, I would say that the version of Time to Pretend and Kids on here are probably the like the least essential tracks to me off of this. Um, I, I like the versions on Oracular Spectacular more. Um, those versions, at least in my ears, seem to be kind of faster. Um, and like more polished. These ones just sound a little more like slow. Um, like that's that's I think the biggest difference that I that I hear. Um, so for the actual songs that are only on here, uh, the first one is Boogie Down, which is actually like the second track on it. Um, this was always kind of my least favorite of the newer or of the songs that are just on here. Uh, but I've always like I've never disliked it. It just if I had to pick a least favorite, it would be this one. Uh, but it's a good song, pretty catchy. Um, nothing really to, other than that to say about it, I guess. Uh, third track is the one that got me into this album, and I'm not really sure how to say the name of it. Uh, we always called it Distraught, which I'm not even sure if that's a word. But uh, yeah, this one, pretty cool song, kind of darker sounding. Um, it almost, like the music part of it, reminds me of like a boss fight from like an old video game or something. Uh, it's like it's that type of music. Um, I like the, the vocal a lot though. I think it's a really catchy song. Uh, there, and there was some weird video to it. And I'm, I'm not sure if it was an official video, but I'm pretty sure I had the guys in it, like I said, and it had, had them like dressed up as like beer bottles. And that's about all I remember from it, but there was this weird music video from it, and uh, that's like how I heard it first, and then I went and got it on this because I'm um, seeing that. The fourth track, Love Always Remains. This one I really didn't like at first. It's the longest track on the album, um, but now it's probably my favorite track on here. It really like, I think it was probably like the, the beat of it that it threw me off first because I really don't like the kind of like beat that they put in it that much um, but it's kind of grown on me over time because just the, it's so catchy with like the vocals and stuff in this song uh, it's got this really cool part where they're kind of like singing one thing and then another thing along with it and it's just uh, it's really cool and then the way the song ends like when the kind of beat stops and then it has like another singing part that's really cool so uh, yeah Love Always Remains probably my favorite thing on here, but it's probably also a little bit tied with Strock or however you say the name of that song. Um, then the fifth and last of the new tracks is Indie Rockers, and this one, I think there might have been a video for this or something, because I remember hearing this song before I had this EP, um, so I think this is another one of those songs that I heard online, and I've always liked it, uh, I think it's pretty catchy. Uh, and then it like I said, closes with another version of Kids. There's uh, a bunch of other songs that these guys have that I don't think are on like any 
albums or anything that I'm pretty sure are from like around this time, like before they did their first album. Uh, I know there's like We Care and We Don't Care. I can't remember like the names of it, all the other ones, but like they've got a bunch of good songs from around this time that aren't on any other albums. So those are like worth checking out if you listen to this and, and like these ones. But yeah, uh, I, I would definitely recommend checking this out for the uh, songs on it that are new or unique to it. I mean, uh, the versions of Time to Pretend and Kids on here aren't extremely interesting, but everything else on here is really solid. So uh, definitely worth checking out if you're into the band's other stuff.